I have four implants currently. I have a magnet in my finger, magnet in the back of my wrist, and a biotemperature chip under my arm that allows me to find out my body temperature when I scan it. I have an NFC chip in my hand that I can program to open doors and be read by my phone. You can actually code it with your computer by cloning the card and writing it to your hand instead. And now, don't worry about losing your key. My name is Anastasia Sin. I'm a magician, a performer, and a cyborg. Technology has changed my life. Because of it, I know a lot more about myself. I know my stress levels. I know that I have a lot more anxiety than I thought I did. I have a, an app that connects to a device I wear that actually can tell when I'm breathing stressfully. It'll send me a text message and tell me to breathe. When I'm walking around, I can feel my finger vibrate and it goes right to my brain. I've had this for about seven or eight months now. And the sensations, it's like hearing for the first time. It's the most amazing thing when you realize that there's an entire language that can be spoken to a magnet in your finger. I didn't understand it until I felt it. Okay, you ready to see something cool? Yeah. All right. Is it gonna bleed? No. no. My husband thinks I'm crazy for what I'm doing. He thinks it's stupid to put things under your skin when I put the North Sense on. He asked me why I didn't just walk around with a compass. Why do I need to feel where North is? He doesn't quite understand about the building neural pathways. My daughter thinks it's awesome. She told kids at her school about it and her teacher about it because they're studying how in the future the government might be able to microchip everybody and keep tabs on them. And she wants me to come in and talk to the class about how that's not possible with our technology as it exists right now. I think the reason I joined the cyborg movement is I've always been a little afraid of death. And as an atheist, I've never been able to find any comfort in a thought or idea of heaven. But as a cyborg, I can find a lot of comfort in the thought of the future. I feel part of a community where people share the same values, where I'm not laughed at or thought of as crazy for implanting things under my body. I have found my tribe. Biohackers, cyborgs, and grinders are my people. Instead of just fixing the heart, why aren't we actually creating technology to improve the heart or improve the eyes? We don't have to just fix things that are broken. We can actually take things that work well and just improve them. I believe we need to spread the message of the cyborg philosophy and get it out there because the more people that participate, the faster it's gonna grow. I want people to have no sadness. I want people to live forever. I mean, can you imagine upgrading your entire consciousness or downloading your entire consciousness to a computer and living forever. It's totally possible in this world that we're living in now, and the more people are involved, the more that's going to evolve. People don't want to die. I don't want to die. I want cyborg heaven. I want to live forever in the internet.